Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the new features in the latest version of Premiere Pro, and that is the join through edits and through edits feature in general. And let me show you what I mean if you're not familiar with it. So I have this simple timeline here. I have three clips on it. If I were to add an edit, I can use the Command K or Add Edit Command, which is the default Premiere shortcut. It's the same thing as using the Blade tool. So if I were to select the Blade tool and make an edit there, it's the same thing. So now I have what seems like five clips, but really this one is all the same clip. Well, in Premiere Pro CS6 and before, I never had any indication of that. And you might be looking at this and thinking, well, you still don't, and you're right. That's because it's not on by default. But all I need to do is come up here to my timeline display settings and click on show through edits. And now I just have an indicator that shows me that these are through edits, which is really helpful, and I would certainly leave that on. What's even more helpful is I could come in here and make a bunch of through edit cuts and I can right click on any of them and say join through edits and it'll join the one that I just clicked on. Now let's say I want to join all of the through edits in my track. You'd think I'd be able to select the track like that and right click and well no I don't have that option. But you can do this. All you need to know is if you hold down the command key on your keyboard or control on a PC it'll select your edit points instead of your clips and now if I click and I hit join through edits you'll see they've all been joined. So that was nice and easy, and it's a very welcome feature to any users coming from Final Cut 7, and I think even Season Premiere Pro users will really appreciate this new feature. And that's joined through edits, so let me know if you have any questions.